Hey guys, what's up in this video and compare the specs and features of the Sony Xperia Z to the newly announced device uh, which was announced 4 hours ago versus the LG G2. So first of all, we'll start off with the display. So we get a 5.2 inch display with 1080p HD resolution and almost same PPI, 424 PPI on both of the devices. And the display on the LG G2 is the IPS LCD display versus a TFD display on the Xperia Z2. Now, in terms of display, there's not much difference between the G2 and the Xperia Z2. They are almost identical. But the Xperia Z2 has a better uh, new color LED, which they are calling. Uh, I'm not sure about, you know, real life test about the screens. Uh, but at, uh, on the paper, they look exactly same, no, no difference here. So in terms of the software, we have the Android 4.4.2 KitKat. Uh, the latest version of the Android on both of the devices and also in terms of the weight uh, we have uh, the, the LG G2 is lighter as compared to the Xperia Z2 at about 143 gram versus 158 gram on the Xperia Z2 but the Xperia Z2 is of course water and as well as dust proof at the same time whereas the G2 is not waterproof also in terms of the hardware we get a new Snapdragon 801 processor which is 45% faster in imaging image processing than the Snapdragon 800 processor on the LG G2. Basically both processors have 4 cores clocked at 2.3 GHz uh, with the same Adreno 330 GPU but the difference here is, is in terms of the RAM. We get a 3 GB of RAM on the Sony Xperia Z2 of course the Sony's first handset with the 3 GB of RAM versus 2 GB of RAM on the LG G2. In terms of the built-in storage, both devices come with uh, 32 GB of internal storage whereas the storage ex expansion on the Z2 is available whereas there is no storage expansion uh, via micro SD slot available on the LG G2. And also in terms of the camera, we get a same 20.7 megapixel camera uh, as we get on the Xperia Z1 on the Xperia Z2 versus a 13 megapixel camera with LED flash on the LG G2. And in terms of the video recording, this is where the Sony has put its effort. The Xperia Z2 can record 4K video at 30 frames per second, whereas the, whereas the LG G2 can only record video at 1080p HD uh, resolution at 30 frames per second, as well as 60 frames per second, uh, but not at 4K resolution. The new uh, LG G Pro 2 uh, that was announced like one week ago was advised by first advised by the LG that has capable capable of recording a 4K video and now Samsung uh, now Samsung's Galaxy Note 3 and the Sony Xperia Z2 and the LG's G Pro 2 are uh, these these three smartphones can only record 4K video at the moment in the market so uh, and also there's a mo uh, there's another difference between these devices is that we get optical image stabilization on the LG G2 whereas we don't get the optical image stabilization on the Sony Xperia Z2 which is a disappointment and also instead we get a digital image stabilization. So of course we have the OIS optical image stabilization plus on the G Pro 2 which is one step ahead. And also in terms of the battery we get a 3200 mAh battery slightly higher battery capacity on the Xperia Z2 versus the 3000 mAh battery on the LG G2, not much of a difference there. So yes, that's it guys, that's from a comparison of specs between these two devices. Of course, there's not much of a difference between these two devices. Of course, the Z2 will be the flagship of this year, but yes, if we compare it with the previous LG G2, the display is same, but camera is awesome on the Xperia Z2, uh, but at the same time, no optical image stabilization. And of course, uh, the Z2 is waterproof, 4K video recording, LG G2 don't, don't have that 4K video recording, but the G, G Pro 2 has, but the G Pro 2 is a uh, phablet, not a phone. So yes, the difference are there as well as the advantages. So yes, thanks for you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Make sure you hit that like button. Peace out.